Hi, Jake Dozer, Certified Financial Planner with Johnson Bernetti here. We're looking at today's Money Wisdom Question Series, and the question we have today before us is this, not if, but when am I going to pay taxes in retirement? <laughs> Benjamin Franklin, Franklin is commonly attributed with the quote that says this, there's nothing certain in life but death and taxes. Isn't, isn't that the truth? However, understanding when you're going to pay taxes really comes down to the most pivotal thing, which is this, what did you add your money to before you retired and even in the early years of retirement? When we look at investment accounts, generally speaking, because again, this isn't specific tax advice to you, but generally speaking, three types of accounts exist and each of them have unique tax treatment. Number one are accounts that are fully taxable. Think your bank account. You know, in the past few years, we've actually started seeing getting tax returns or tax forms rather from a bank account and being able to have taxable interest. That's true in what's called a brokerage account or a non-qualified account. It's an investment account, not a retirement account, but that holds investments, whether those be stocks, bonds, mutual funds, etc. And those accounts, as they grow, and then those gains from the growth or losses, of course, are exposed or realized, um, that's when we pay the taxes. Now that happens in those accounts whether we withdraw the funds or not. Let me give you a quick example. I buy ABC company stock for $10. It grows to $20. If I haven't sold that stock, I haven't paid taxes on it. But the moment I sell it, I now realize the taxable gain and therefore I'm taxed on the $10 of growth. Not the principal again, but the growth. That's account number one, a non-qualified or a brokerage taxable account. Account number two is probably the most common that we interact with, which is pre-tax or traditional accounts. Those typically come in traditional IRAs or a traditional pre-tax 401k or some other type of a retirement account like a 403b, etc. And those accounts, what you do when you contribute money into them, you're getting a tax deduction up front for the amount you put into it. But then, of course, in the future, any growth that that account has experienced, along with the contribution itself, will be taxed upon withdrawal. Now, the benefit there is deferred taxes. The benefit there also is years of compounding growth um, that would have been taxed otherwise that you get to continue to reap compounding growth on. Account number three is something that is a little bit more recently in the past 20 years or so been introduced, and that is a Roth. Roth can again be a 401k or most commonly an IRA. Now in that account, it's inverse to a traditional account, traditional IRA that is. And that is you pay the taxes up front, but as long as you follow a couple different rules that are established, you continue to get tax-free growth for the rest of your life. So the principal would never be taxed again, nor would the gains be taxed. So the short answer, when am I gonna pay taxes? When I withdraw is most commonly the answer, but it's not the whole story. So be careful and be sure when you're building your retirement plan to know when it is you're going to pay taxes. It's not an if, it's a when, but make sure that you don't leave Uncle Sam a tip. Again, this is Jake Dozer, Certified Financial Planner with Johnson Bernetti. Thanks for tuning in to today's Money Wisdom Question Series. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and uh, cert be certain to subscribe as well to get more content like this. And finally, if you feel that there's someone else out there that may benefit from this content, feel free to give it a share. We'd love to help anyone we can. Have a great day.